welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my August favorites for y'all. I know we're a little bit into September but I wanted to go ahead and do this because I have a few things I want to share with y'all and some of this I guess technically wouldn't even be just my August favorites because I've been using them for longer than just in August but since I've only been here on YouTube for about a month now uh, it's going to be categorized under my August favorites, even though it could be considered like my, my, just my favorite in general. Also, let's address the fact that last video I said that I would have more pink in my hair. I did attempt. I didn't chicken out, but it just wouldn't take to my hair because my hair is not completely white. And I don't want to bleach it all the way white because that's just so damaging for your hair. So, here I am with my same old regular hair. So, now that we've got all of that cleared, but let's just jump right on into some of my favorites. But no, actually, one more thing. I feel so weird with straight hair. Like, this is not me. I kind of did a different makeup look today. Straight hair, like, sorry if y'all don't like it because I don't feel normal. Now, for my favorites. My first favorite is this Morphe 350 or O. I don't know if it's, I think it's 35O palette. And it's this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I don't know if it's going to focus for y'all. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But it's so, so pretty. I just got it, I think last week. It's all these neutral warm shades, which is usually what I lean towards using. I have blue eyes, so that's just what I feel like looks best on me. And these are like all my favorite kind of colors to use. And these Morphe palettes, this is my third one to get. They're such good quality shadows for such a reasonable price. And you get so many. It's 35 shadows and for not a lot of money and they're good quality shadows so if you're looking for some eyeshadows maybe check out Morphe because they have great palettes and another one that I have I have the Jaclyn Hill palette which I don't think it's available anymore I can't remember the other one that I have but they have like warm tone palettes cool tone palettes so whatever you enjoy using on yourself you can get a palette for that for a very reasonable price my next favorite, I'll just stick with makeup, do all my makeup first, then move on, is, of course, Becca Champagne Pop. It's the highlighter that Jaclyn Hill collaborated and made with Becca, and I'm sure you've heard all about it all over YouTube. Like I said, this isn't just an August favorite. This has been a favorite of mine as, since it came out, which was, I don't know even when. It hasn't been that long, but I ordered it the second that it was available and got it as soon as possible and I really do love it. I wear it every single day that I wear makeup. I love using it on brides. It gives them such a beautiful glow and so if you're looking for a good highlighter I would definitely suggest trying this one out. It's so beautiful. They have other shades as well and they're all great and I just really really love it. Okay so for foundation my favorite recently has been this Makeup Forever matte velvet foundation and i was kind of iffy on buying this at first because sometimes makeup forever can be a little pricier i mean not like super expensive but kind of pricey and so i held off on buying it for a while because i have other foundations and like what's the point in having fifty thousand foundations when one will do just fine so when i started running low on my other foundation i decided to get this and i really 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 do love it it's matte like it says obviously and i think matte velvet's the perfect description because it really does make your skin just look so smooth and velvety and i think i've said before that i have oily skin and so i tend to use a matte mattifying foundation to try to get rid of some of that oiliness even though it doesn't always work but i still like to use a mattifying foundation and this one has been one of my favorites it's kind of a small tube, but a little bit goes a long way, especially if you use it with your beauty blender wet and then blend it all out. It'll last you for a while. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely suggest this. If you don't have oily skin, you might not love it, If you, especially if you have dry skin. It could be a little too thick and mattifying for you. So, 
But their other foundation, just the Makeup Forever HD foundation, is also really, really good. Last for makeup is a MAC lipstick, and it is the Retro Matte line, and it is the color Runway Hit. And it's this very, very pretty corally pink color, and I've just really been loving it, especially towards the end of the summer recently. I've been wearing it all the time, and it's just one of my favorites. I don't really feel like I have a lipstick that this that is this color because I have nudes, and this does have a nude-ish look, but it's not a nude lipstick. It's like nudey, pinky, corally, if that makes sense. So, yeah, but I love MAC lipsticks, I'm sure all of y'all do too. Okay, so I guess we can move on to actual like face products like skincare and one of my favorite things I recently picked up at Sephora is this Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay because my skin tries to play games with me all the time and tries to do all this crazy stuff underneath all this makeup and I try to keep it under control and it says this powerful mask with Mediterranean rose clay, Canadian willow herb, and exfoliating jojoba, jojoba beads helps gently deep clean while refining skin's texture. The result, skin emerges anew. Pores appear to vanish. Radiance is restored. Skin looks refreshed. Flawless feels silky smooth. And it really does all that stuff that it says. I do this. I put it on my face about two to three times a week. You don't want to do it every day since it is like a deep cleaning mask. But when I put it on my face and then I let it sit and wash it off. And when I wash it off, my skin really does feel new. And even immediately, I feel like it looks better. So over time with using it, I've noticed a difference. Obviously, my skin's not perfect. It's not going to vanish everything but it helps so this is another mask that i've really been loving and it is from lush and it's the mask of magnamenti and it is a face and body mask and it says can be used on both the face and back during times of trouble or just as a regular maintenance routine so i use this one about once a week and you can see in here it's really really thick like does not move and it's green and you look gross when you put it on. All of my friends get crazy Snapchat pictures from me when I have it on my face because it just really makes you look beautiful. But it smells like peppermint and when you put it on your face, it's like, yeah, like peppermint. When you put it on your face, it's like you can feel that peppermint like smell tingling on your face. And it dries and you wash it off and your skin just feels fresh and new so if y'all haven't ever checked out lush you should definitely check it out i have some other stuff from them and all their stuff is great and it's like all handmade like organic kind of stuff with fresh ingredients and all of that but yeah all of their stuff is so awesome and really makes your skin feel so nice and smooth so check out lush if y'all have never done so another one of my favorite things is their bath bombs I'm sure everybody knows about the bath bombs, but, like, they are my favorite. They just make taking a bath so much more enjoyable. They're so much fun. They just explode with, like, all these things and smell so good, and it's just so relaxing. To Last for, um, face is this Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Makeup Remover, and I use this to wash my face every single night to take my makeup off. I'm going to use it if I don't have on makeup, and... Just recently, like, I guess I'm kind of stupid, but I realized that all of my face washes that I was using was not removing my makeup. And then I was like, well, duh, Avery, you're not using a makeup remover, you're just using a face wash. And just regular face washes, I think I look bald. Do I? Just regular face washes aren't meant to take off pounds of makeup, obviously. So, me and my mom went to the store. We were, like, on a mission to find a makeup-removing face wash. And we picked up this one. And this is my second bottle of it. I love it so much. It has a really nice smell. And it takes off all of my makeup. I do sometimes will go in with a 
makeup removing wipe before if I have on a ton of eye makeup or something. And then sometimes I go in with a second lather after I have all of my makeup off just to do another rinse and then I'll go in with one of my masks or just some face cream. Next, I have this Bumble and Bumble BB Repair Blow Dry, and it's for dry or damaged hair. It says, repair hair with every blow dry using this heat protective serum and cream elixir that helps seal split ends for soft, smooth, healthy looking styles. Now, my hair, although you may not think so, is so unruly and crazy. Like when I blow dry, it looks like a lion's mane. If I let it air dry, it is just absolutely hideous. Like I cannot shower and let my hair air dry because it is out to here, frizzy, half wavy, half straight, half kinky curls. Like it is all over the place. And so I'm always looking for like repair hair. No, hair repair creams or leave-in treatments or anything because obviously I bleach my hair all the time which I know is not good for it but I like to have blonde hair and naturally I do not. So my hair is pretty damaged. I try to take very good care of it but you know some things are just going to happen anyway but this repair blow dry cream or whatever you want to call it literally is like heaven sent. It's so great. First of all it smells delicious. I don't know how to explain what it smells like to you, but it smells delicious. And first time, right off the bat, that I used it, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, my hair was smooth. Obviously, I still had to do something to it because it was still fat, but it just made it so soft and so smooth. And so now I use it every single time. I really, 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 really love this stuff. And last, no, this is not last. Two more things. Next on hair care is this dry shampoo, and it's not dry shampoo in particular because I'm sure everyone's been using dry shampoo for quite some time now. If you're like me, I use it all the time. Like, I don't wash my hair. That's kind of gross. Sorry if that bothers you, but I just don't. Like I said, like, my hair is crazy, and if I wash it, I have to blow dry it, and I have to either curl or straighten it, and that's just a pain. So when I actually do it, I make it last. I stretch it as far as I can go. And one thing that I use is dry shampoo to do that. And I recently, this summer, got this one. One of my good friends was using it at a wedding that we were at. And it smells so good. I keep saying that about everything, but I just love the way things smell. And it just smells, I don't know. How do you describe smells? I'm terrible at it, obviously. But it smells so good. And this is like my favorite dry shampoo so far like obviously if you have dark hair you're not going to want it to do this but i love it because it actually lightens up my hair where i spray it so like even if my hair's not that dirty and my roots are real bad i'll take this and spray it on my roots and like massage it in and it lightens up your roots and not it makes them not look as bad but this is the best to me and it's so cheap i got it at walgreens and it's like Probably the cheapest one that I've ever bought, I think. But I really love it. I'm almost out. Gotta go get a new can. But it's a pssst brand. And it says the true original. And last but not least, it's going to be something, again, that I can't explain to you because it's a candle. But it's this Veluspa. Is that how you say it? Veluspa? I don't know. But Veluspa, Voluspa, whatever you want to call it. Saiho Persimmon candle oh like I die every single time that I smell it like it is almost gone I've been saving it it's just a little baby one I don't think they had the big one when I bought this but I got mine at Nordstrom I don't know where all they sell them I've seen them a bunch of places though like it's like oh, it smells like peaches and but not like welcome to my fruit garden you know I don't know, it just smells so good, and like the packaging is just so cute. It matches my bathroom perfectly, so I set it in there. And these, like the aroma can fill up a room so easily. Like sometimes I'll just take the top off of it, and I don't even have to burn it, and my bathroom will still smell like it. It just smells so, so good. They have other good ones too, but this is my absolute favorite. Like I would buy 25 more if someone wanted me to, because it smells so good. So 
that is it for my August favorites. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you want to, comment down below what your August favorites were or what your September favorites are because I would love to check all those out and buy new cool stuff that everybody loves to try. And... Oh, where am I posting? And I will have a new video up next week. I'm thinking about maybe doing a how I curl my hair video because I've had a few people ask for that so just let me know what you want to see and thank y'all all so much for watching my videos I really appreciate all the comments and the likes and a special shout out to all of my subscribers that I have thus far if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to do so down below and also give it a thumbs up and until next time y'all have a good week <music> Right into some of our favorites. So.